If you've been around OS training at all, you know we're a fan of Modic. Modic is the world's only open source marketing automation platform. It's currently owned by Acquia, but the open source version is going really strong. Hi, my name is Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training, and in this video, I want to talk to you about Modic 4, which was released on August 30th of 2021. Now, we're in late September, which means it's been out for about a month. And while the news is mostly good, uh, there's still a few little hiccups. But in this video, I want to show you a terrific blog post by Joey Keller on how to update your Modic 3 installation to Modic 4. And at the end, I'll add a couple of caveats of my own. All right, let's dive in. I'm over here at modic.org on their blog, and this is the announcement for Modic 4, Standing Tall, the most significant update to Modic's underlying infrastructure in years. And it's really actually pretty terrific. Symphony 3, a new email and landing page builder, which I can't tell you how awesome that is, for the most part. Four new templates that allow you to build emails and landing pages, and these work really well. Uh, interface for managing tags, read-only first phase of the pneumotic marketplace. That's pretty exciting for people who are trying to build a business around Modic. And then an updated Zapier app, including support for OAuth 2. That is actually pretty incredible as well. Well, let's take a quick peek at Joey's post. This is, again, joeykeller.com update Modic 3 to Modic 4 via SSH. Now, to follow the directions here, you will need command line access to your website. Now, honestly, if you don't have command line access to your site and you're on, say, something like a shared host where you'll never get it, honestly, Modic is probably not the marketing automation platform for you. There's been much discussion through the years as to whether Modic should be managed by a professional staff, etc. And honestly, it's not easy to manage Modic on a shared server, and it's certainly not easy to update it. So here's all of the directions. He'll take you through backing up your database, backing up your entire structure, updating your environment to PHP 7.4 if you're not there yet. PHP 7.4 is required for Modic 4. Any of the PHP environmental variables that need to be updated will be listed there. And you're getting the idea, if you're not comfortable with SSH and the command line, you're probably going to need to hire someone to do this. But each command is well laid out for you here, and he's done a really terrific job. So scrolling down, the big ticket item after you update from Modic 3 to Modic 4 is to add this line into all of your template files if you're going to continue to use your old templates. There are some troubleshooting tips here. Some emails may show up or may not. Themes missing the email.html.twig file foreign key error and any errors inside your templates, template will not be saved. There's four really great articles here. So once again, this is joeykeller.com and a really terrific help in going from Modic 3 to Modic 4. So Modic 3 to Modic 4, it's an interesting update. It's a really great update, but I'm experiencing some issues even still. Every once in a while, Safari on a Mac just kind of blows up and you get stuck in the new email builder. I've also experienced some quirky things in Chrome, but not to the same extent as in Safari. The other thing is, at this point at least, there's no token button anymore. So unless you know all of the tokens you want to insert in an email, like contact field equals first name and more, well, you're just going to have to learn those. There's no little button to click anymore. And there's a few other things missing out of the builder. I'm assuming they'll make their way back. But in the meantime, you're going to need to be creative. All right. Well, listen, thanks for joining me today. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. As always, like, subscribe. We add new content every week. We'd appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.